Hi guys, so I just got out of the shower. Um, I'm about to do my makeup for the day, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. So let's begin. Um, first of all, I'm going to tie my hair. Da, hair, a change. So I'm going to start by priming my face and I'm going to use the um, Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. It's not really a primer but it can be used as one and it's really good if you have spots. Um, I tend to put it first of all over my spots just using my hands and then like over the rest of my face. So once you have your primer on you want to do your foundation. Um, I'm going to use a mix of two today, mainly because I like the one, I like this one for, so this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Anti-Fatigue Foundation. I like this because it gives nice coverage on my skin, but it's the lightest colour and it's a tiny bit too dark. So I'm going to mix it with the Body Shop um, Moisture Foundation. So the shade I'm using in the Rimmel is 100 Ivory. And the shade I'm using in this one, in the Body Shop one, is 04. So I put it on the back of my hand. I put um, two to three pumps of this and then just a pump of this to lighten the foundation. Uh, then using a Real Techniques foundation brush, which looks like this one here, I mix it together and apply it to my face. I always concentrate it, obviously, where I need the foundation um, and then the centre of my face. That way, as you blend it out, um, it looks more natural and blends into your hairline or into your other your normal skin colour easily. Um, you should also always put some over your eyelids so that your eyes are the same colour as the rest of your face when you look at the mirror. Then using a Real Techniques brush, I'm going to be using, I think this is the buffing brush, and I'm just going to buff this into my skin. Um, you should also take as long as you need with your foundation, because your foundation is the base of everything. So if your foundation looks good, the rest of it will go on a lot easier. And same as that, how I apply my foundation, blend it outwards. Uh, when you're finishing off blending your foundation, you should also blend it... <coughs> Sorry, I've just got up. I'm going to go up. Um, you should also blend your foundation just under your jawline, as you have a shadow there. So if it's a little bit darker or a little bit of a line, it's not such a big issue. And also don't blend it all the way down your nose. Once you're done with um, your foundation, the next thing you're going to do is get the hair out of your eye. Not out of your eye. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is your concealer. So the colour correcting concealer that I'm going to be using is this one by Cryolan. Um, I really like it. It works really well. It is professional makeup, so it is really, really thick, um, but you mix it with a uh, makeup blend, um, which thins it out and makes it like the perfect consistency. So I've got a funny little stroke thing that's still got concealer from yesterday on it. Whoops. So um, I'm going to be using two different mixes. I'm going to be using... Um, like the anti-red one for the spots that I have and then um, an anti-blue like blue purple one after my eyes so that I don't look as tired and it gets rid of the bag under my eyes. Um, and I'm not going to be using a lot because it does go quite far, especially when it's got the makeup blend in it. I'm going to bring it into the inner corner of my eye and under in like a triangular shape and just mix it. And I have So to blend that in, oh, I'm going to use a dirty beauty blender, preferably use a clean one. Start with my spots then go to my under eyes and I'm just going to dab it in. So as you can see that's all gone into my skin and it looks the right colour and it's just corrected everything, which is what I wanted. Um, the next step for me is my eyes slash eyebrows. Um, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. Um, I'm going to do them using the Rimmel London Born This Way Brow Sculpting Kit. Um, 
and this is the darkest one you can get. I can't read the colour because I've looked at the label on the back. It says brown. I'm assuming dark brown. Um, I really like this. It's a like little duo thing. It comes with like a little tiny spoolie. And it came with a little angled brush as well. But I gave that to my grandmother because she lost hers. Um, so in the actual kit is a powder and like a gel stuff. So you shape your eyebrows and then you stuff like keep them in place. Um, I'm going to just use the powder for today. Um, and I'm going to use a different like brow gel. And I'm going to apply it in the outer bit first and work my way in so that it becomes more faded and more natural looking. So once I'm done with that, I am going to use the Maybelline New York Brow Drama in Medium Brown. And I'm just going to run that through my eyebrows. So, so the next thing we're going to do is we set our eye eyelids. So let's begin with the eyelids. Um, I'm going to use the Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. I'm using the concealer brush that I used before. I'm just going to do a mix of these three colours on the end here, which are Purr, Meow and Kitten. Um, and put that on the inner part of my eye. I'm just going to use the mirror and the palette. And repeat the process on the other eye. The next product I'm going to be using on a fluffy brush. Um, this is just the Nude by Nature one. Um, I'm going to get the Colum Color Molten Eye Studio um, 302 Endless Mocha by Maybelline New York. So just stick my brush in mirror again and I'm just going to work this into my crease, um, starting in the outer corner and working inwards. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to darken it up. Um, so I'm going to use the Naked palette and I'm going to mix it with a bit of buck and a bit of smog and put that over the top to darken that out. So going back to my Too Faced palette, I'm going to just grab Leopard and I'm going to, um, using a little, um, this is an applying brush but it's quite fluffy so it's small and you can get in the crease um, but still blends it out nicely. I'm going to use Leopard which can be used as an eyeliner actually um, and I'm going to put that in that outer corner here and just a little bit into the So once you have put that in the outer corner, um, I'm going to go and do concealer because I do things in really random mismatched order. The concealer I'm going to be using for under my eyes is Rimmel London Match Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer and it's a two-in-one concealer and highlighter and put it in a triangle under And as you can see, this one is lighter than my skin, so unlike the other one that I put under my eye, this will highlight my eye. And I am, again, going to blend it out with a beauty blender. Um, now that I have my final layer of concealer on, I'm going to set my face before it goes anywhere. Um, so I'm going to be using a big fluffy brush, um, this is also from my vet kit, and it's Aisa, Aisa, I really like it, it works. Um, I'm going to be using the Maybelline, no, sorry, Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder, because it's a new brush, it's still shedding, and it's getting a little bit annoying. So there's tiny black things on my face. It's just my brush shedding. I'm going to wash it a few more times if I need to. I'm going to be using the Naked palette again to highlight my brow bone in the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to use the colour um, Virgin. Which is... Um, 
which is just this really beautiful pinky, um, sparkly color. So I'm going to use the Astralis um, liquid eyeliner in the color black. Real creative. Um, you could also use like a cream gel or whatever, but I like liquid. Um, I like this applicator. It's kind of like a felt tip, but it's liquid liner. So I've also got a little mirror here. You can see how shiny my brow is. <laughs> Maybe I went a bit overboard. Um, so you draw it from the uh, corner of your nose up towards the corner of your eyebrow, meeting the corner of your eye. And that's supposed to be the best line for your eyeliner. You also want to make sure that the line's thinner as you get to the end of your eye. I draw that line first. A lot of people draw over the eye, but this just works the best for me. Um, and I'm going to do the same on the other side before I do the next bit. And then you fill it in. So you meet it about here. And you bring it down. And fill the cracks. To get the best effect with mascara, I like to use an old mascara and a new mascara, and then to make them really long, like I have long eyelashes anyway, so these two, these are the same ones, these are better than sex. Two faced better than sex mascara. So this was my old one, this is my new one, um, and they're quite thickening, so I use the old one to separate my lashes and use the new one to thicken them, and then I'm going to put the L'Oreal Paris False Lash Four Dimension Effect Fibers Black Liqueur um, on my eyelashes, so that will just lengthen them. So there we go, that's a finished eye look. Um, if you like videos like this, let me know um, down below. I actually really enjoy doing makeup. I haven't done a tutorial on this channel for, a, for over a year. I think I've only ever done like one or two. Um, but I haven't done makeup. Um, but I really, really like makeup and that's why I'm doing a wet course. So as I get better, I want to do more of it, so if you like this, if there's anything you want to see me do, um, let me know and I will try my best to do it. <laughs> Hair is a mess, my life's a mess, I'm done for this video. Um, so like, subscribe, comment down below what other makeup looks you want me to do and I will see you, I want to say next week, but I probably won't. Um, yeah, I will see you next time I upload, which should hopefully be quite 